Thank you for joining us for Desert Springs Preparatory's Curriculum Night. This night is incredibly important to establish a strong partnership between home and school. We hope to work together to support your child in having a very successful school year. At Desert Springs Preparatory, we soar like a hawk. We are safe, organized, accountable, and respectful in all areas of our school. Our SOAR program follows positive behavioral interventions and supports, also known as PBIS. As a school, we focus on teaching behavior expectations in each area of the school using positively phrased language. We believe in teaching and reteaching behavior expectations to our students. We provide positive reinforcement with verbal praise, SOAR cards, and more. Each classroom or grade level may have a specific classroom level management system. However, classroom systems are also built around understanding that it is our job as teachers to teach and reteach expectations and celebrate the positive actions of our students. In PVUSD and at Desert Springs Preparatory, we believe in restorative practices. Restorative practices help students take responsibility for his or her actions, make amends, and reintegrate into the community. Restorative practices help build and restore relationships. It allows student voices to be heard and helps to build a positive school climate. And it encourages individuals to accept responsibility, repair harm, and learn new behaviors. What do parents need to know? Teachers will focus on building positive relationships in the classroom. Teachers will have restorative conversations with students after an incident and will also facilitate conversations between students after an incident. How can you help? Empower your student to have confidence to have a conversation with another student when they have a disagreement or issue. Remind your child they can also find an adult to help facilitate the conversation. We support our students with learning expectations at school by teaching and reteaching, but we know that sometimes we all make mistakes. At DSP, we believe communication between home and school is instrumental in teaching our students to learn from mistakes and make a better choice next time. In the classroom, teachers use their classroom management systems to monitor student behavior and use good teaching practices like proximity to the student to help remind students to make good choices. If a behavior continues, students will fill out a school reflection sheet. We believe this new reflection sheet will be instrumental in helping students learn from the incident by thinking about what SOAR expectation they need to work on and what they can do differently next time, and even walk them through a restorative practice of what he or she needs to do to fix it. Reflection sheets may include consequences such as loss of privilege or community service around campus. If a behavior continues after two reflection sheets, students will be referred to the office where a student may receive a conduct communication form and receive further discipline consequences. Both reflection sheets and conduct communication forms are considered an instructional tool to help children learn appropriate school behaviors and make a better choice next time. Our staff hope to clearly communicate with parents and work together to support your child in making a better choice. Parents know their child best, and it is so important that we understand we are a team in your child's success. This is an example of the primary reflection sheet. Students will write out what happened, how did they feel, what sore expectation do they need to work on, and what can they do differently next time. This is an example of our intermediate reflection sheet. Students will list what happened, how they felt, why their behavior was unacceptable, why it affected others, and what they can do differently next time. Both the primary and intermediate reflection sheets will require a parent signature and will need to be returned the following day. Minor behaviors are most often kept at the teacher level and documented on a reflection sheet. Examples include, but are not limited to, physical aggression, pushing, shoving, and horseplay, disrespect like rolling eyes or inappropriate language, defiance, disruption, or inappropriate use of technology. If a behavior were to continue after two reflection sheets, or if a major behavior occurs, a student will be referred to the principal or assistant principal. A conduct communication form, like on this slide, may be filled out. The assistant principal or principal will communicate with the parent. 
Major behaviors that may be automatically documented on a conduct communication form include but are not limited to physical aggression such as fighting, disrespect such as repeated calling of names, defiance, or major disruption in the classroom. To further read about our discipline process, please see our parent student agreement on our school website. You can also find the technology contract and AR agreement on our website. In order to ensure we have properly communicated these expectations, I ask that you read these documents and sign the pink parent and student agreement signature page you will receive at curriculum night. Please return this pink page to your teacher by this Friday, August 20th. The example of the reflection sheet for your grade level, which is also on pink paper, is for you to keep. Our students' social and emotional needs have always been a priority to us as educators. With COVID-19, we saw a huge increase for our need to support our students' social and emotional needs with more research-based curriculum. At DSP, through our stakeholder groups, we selected Sanford Harmony as our curriculum for social emotional learning. Students spend 10 to 15 minutes a day in community building and learning more about the following topics. Diversity and inclusion, empathy and critical thinking, communication, problem solving, and peer relationships. I will be sending out information about each unit to, to parents throughout the year. If you would like more information, please visit HarmonySEL.org. At DSP, our structured dress code is a very important part of our learning environment. It helps to keep students focused on their education rather than clothes. Our structured dress code contributes to our culture of kindness and acceptance by creating a level playing field among students and reducing peer pressure. We appreciate your support in adhering to the specific colors for tops and bottoms. Consider Old Navy, Walmart, Target, Gap, or Amazon. If you are in need of assistance with structured dress, please see Nurse Jamie or Principal Solano. Please also see the district dress code for more guidance on appropriate attire. At Desert Springs Preparatory, safety is our number one priority. I appreciate the help of our parents and community members in making arrival and dismissal safe for our students. Our current arrival time is between 8.30 a.m. to 8.40 a.m. Our first bell rings at 8.40 a.m. and our students should be walking into class at 8.45 a.m. Our dismissal time is at 3.15 p.m. Here are some helpful reminders. Please remember that the main drive through line is for first through sixth grade students and the parking lot is for kindergarten, sun kids, and pre-K only. Kindergartners with older siblings must use the main drive through after school. Please do not arrive early for dismissal or arrival. Arriving early greatly impacts the traffic around the neighborhood and causes safety concerns. Walkers must use crosswalk. Do not run across Acoma or 60th Street, please. This is a major concern of safety for our students. At dismissal time, our K2 students who have parents meeting them as a walker, uh, parents please stand near the fence of the kindergarten playground by the push gate and our kindergarten and first grade teachers will dismiss from there. Please be aware that our intermediate students may be walking through that area to go to the bike rack or mascot club. And finally, pre-K parents, please remember to wait with your children before and after school at the blue tables. Students are not permitted on the playgrounds before or after school. Again, I truly appreciate our whole community's help in adhering to these procedures. We greatly appreciate and love volunteers at DSP. Parent support in our classrooms is one of the many things that makes DSP so special. This year, we are hosting volunteer onboarding sessions for parents. A volunteer onboarding session is required before starting to volunteer on campus. At our volunteer onboarding sessions, volunteers will learn about COVID protocols, the role of a volunteer on campus, confidentiality policies, and more. Please watch for communication on future volunteer onboarding sessions. The support of our PTA is incredibly important to our school and students. This group is an example of the partnership between parents and our DSP staff. It takes a village to create, maintain, and grow our wonderful school. I encourage you to join the PTA by becoming a member and attend PTA meetings to learn more about our school, give input, and consider volunteering. This is a great place to get to know other parents and our staff. 
Remember that by joining the PTA or even coming to a PTA meeting does not mean that there will be further commitment to your time. We understand that everyone is incredibly busy. Remember that you also don't need to attend every meeting or even show up to every event to be a member. Our PTA supports each classroom and grade level with funds for science experiments, core knowledge projects, instructional materials, and so much more. They help plan and fund events like Literacy Night, our Family Picnic and Movie Nights, Steam Night, Bingo Baskets and Bounce, School Beautification, Restaurant Nights, and so much more. Our PTA also helps to manage and communicate out to room parents who will then further communicate out to parents in each classroom. Thank you so much for joining us for Curriculum Night. We look forward to working with you this year to support your child in soaring to success. Please do not hesitate to reach out to me, Principal Solano, or your classroom teacher should you have any questions, concerns, suggestions, or positive things to share throughout the year. Together, we will make this school year the best one yet and soar like hawks.